In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with Timeline, introduce you to the Timeline Editor window, and cover some of the main features of its user interface. To create a Timeline instance in Unity, we first need to open the Timeline Editor window. The Timeline Editor window can be found in Window, Timeline Editor. The Timeline Editor window allows us to create and assign tracks to assets in our scene that we would like to control with a timeline sequence. As you can see, when we open the window, we're prompted to select a game object. When selecting a game object, such as this one, if it doesn't have a playable director component attached, a Create button is displayed inside of the Timeline Editor window. Clicking this button will add a director component to the game object and create a new timeline asset to control. A timeline asset is an instance of a timeline sequence. The playable director component contains a reference to which timeline asset to play, and this can be defined in the inspector or controlled with a custom script. If we want multiple timeline assets to play simultaneously, it would be most useful to have multiple instances of the playable director component on different game objects. However, right now, we only want to play a single timeline instance at a time. I also want to make sure that I know where my playable director component is. So let's be sensible and create an empty game object. Then, let's name it Timeline. This will be our main controller for our timeline assets. With the timeline game object selected, let's click Create. If we want to create additional timeline assets, we can right click on our project window and choose Create, Timeline, or go to Assets, Create, Timeline. Then, to play this timeline sequence instead, we can simply assign it into the playable director. At the top of the timeline editor is the toolbar. From here, we can enable or disable preview mode. Play, pause, rewind, and skip through frames in our timeline. Set a region of the timeline to play, as well as set a specific time or frame to jump to. We can also adjust additional settings for our timeline, such as whether the timeline is displayed in seconds or frames, or the desired frame rate for playback using the drop down on the right of the toolbar. From here, we can now add tracks, animate assets, and start to build our timeline sequence for our cutscene, animation, or game event using the Add button below the toolbar. In our additional videos, we'll show you how to use tracks to record animation, how to create and work with clips to compose animated sequences, as well as how to write your own custom scripts to control the playable director. For more information on these videos, more information on Timeline, or to find more Unity tutorials, be sure to use the links below. Thanks for watching.